Homo habilis is a species of the Hominini tribe, which lived from approximately 2.33 to 1.44 million years ago, during the Gelasian Pleistocene period. While there has been scholarly controversy regarding its placement in the genus Homo rather than the genus Australopithecus, its brain size has been shown to range from 550 cm3 to 687 cm3, rather than from 363 cm3 to 600 cm3 as formerly thought. These more recent findings concerning brain size favor its traditional placement in the genus Homo, as does the need for the genus to be monophyletic if H. habilis is indeed the common ancestor. In its appearance and morphology, H. habilis is the least similar to modern humans of all species in the genus Homo, and its classification as Homo has been the subject of controversial debate since its first proposal in the 1960s. H. habilis was short and had disproportionately long arms compared to modern humans. However, it had a less protruding face than the Australopithecines from which it is thought to have descended. H. habilis had a cranial capacity slightly less than half of the size of modern humans. Despite the ape-like morphology of the bodies, H. habilis remains are often accompanied by primitive stone tools. Homo habilis has often been thought to be the ancestor of the more gracile and sophisticated Homo agaster, which in turn gave rise to the more human-appearing species, Homo erectus. Debates continue over whether all of the known fossils are properly attributed to the species, and some paleoanthropologists regard the taxon as invalid, made up of fossil specimens of Australopithecus and Homo. New findings in 2007 seem to confirm the view that H. habilis and H. erectus coexisted, representing separate lineages from a common ancestor instead of H. erectus being descended from H. habilis. An alternative explanation would be that any ancestral relationship from H. habilis to H. erectus would have to have been cladorgenetic rather than an agenetic. Findings, one set of fossil remains, discovered by Donald Johansson and Tim White in Old Dubai Gorge in 1986, included the important upper and lower limbs. Their finding stimulated some debate at the time. An older finding from the Old Dubai site found by N. Weaker had included a lower jaw fragment, teeth and upper mandible possibly from a female dating 1.7 million years old. The remains from three skeletons stacked on top of each other demonstrated Australopithecine-like body with a more human-like face and smaller teeth. Compared to Australopithecines, H. habilis brain capacity of around 640 km cubed was on average 50% larger than Australopithecines, but considerably smaller than the 1350 to 1450 km3 range of modern Homo sapiens. These hominins were smaller than modern humans, on average standing no more than 1.3 am tall. The small size and rather primitive attributes have led some experts to propose excluding H. habilis from the genus Homo, and renaming as Australopithecus habilis. KNMER 1813 KNMER 1813 is a relatively complete cranium which dates to 1.9 million years old, discovered at Kubai Fora, Kenya by Ajit Sharma in 1973. The brain capacity is 510 km cubed, not as impressive as other early specimen and forms of H. habilis discovered. OH7, OH7 dates to 1.75 million years old, and was discovered by Mary and Louis Leakey on November 4, 1960 at Old Dubai Gorge, Tanzania. It is a lower jaw complete with teeth. Due to the size of the small teeth, Researchers estimate this juvenile individual had a brain volume of 363 akma cubed. Also found were more than 20 fragments of the left hand. Tobias and Napier assisted in classifying OH7 as the type fossil. OH24, OH24 is a roughly deformed cranium about 1.8 million years old discovered in October 1968 at Old Dubai Gorge, Tanzania. The brain volume is just under 600 km cubed. Also a reduction in a protruding face is present compared to members of more primitive Australopithecines. KNMER 1805 KNMER 1805 is a specimen of an adult H. habilis made of three pieces of cranium dating to 1.74 million years old from Kubai Fora, Kenya. Previous assumptions were that this specimen belongs to H. erectus based on the degree of pranthism and overall cranial shape. Interpretations 
Homo habilis is thought to have mastered the lower Paleolithic old yawn tool set which used stone flakes. These stone flakes were more advanced than any tools previously used, and gave H. habilis the edge it needed to prosper in hostile environments previously too formidable for primates. Whether H. habilis was the first hominid to master stone tool technology remains controversial, as Australopithecus gary, dated to 2.6 million years ago, has been found along with stone tool implements at least 100,000 to 200,000 years older than H. habilis. Most experts assume the intelligence and social organization of H. habilis were more sophisticated than typical Australopithecines or chimpanzees. Yet despite tool usage, H. habilis was not the master hunter its sister species proved to be, as ample fossil evidence indicates H. habilis was a staple in the diet of large predatory animals, such as Dinophiles, a large scimitar-toothed predatory cat the size of a jaguar. H. habilis used tools primarily for scavenging, such as cleaving meat off carrion, rather than defense or hunting. This species is thought to be the ancestor of the lankier and more sophisticated Homo agaster which in turn gave rise to the more human-appearing species Homo erectus. Debates continue over whether H. habilis is a direct human ancestor, and whether all of the known fossils are properly attributed to the species. Homo habilis coexisted with other Homo-like bipedal primates, such as Paranthropus boisei, some of which prospered for many millennia. However, H. habilis, possibly because of its early tool innovation and a less specialized diet, became the precursor of an entire line of new species, whereas Paranthropus boise and its robust relatives disappeared from the fossil record. H. habilis may also have coexisted with H. erectus in Africa for a period of 500,000 years. Evolutionary biologist Jeremy Griffith has drawn parallels between H. habilis and the psychological developmental evolution of modern humans as a manifestation of Ernst Haeckel's theory of ontogeny being a summarized recapitulation of phylogeny, suggesting elements of the phenotype of H. habilis relate to early adolescence in modern humans. See also, List of fossil sites, List of human evolution fossils, Notes. References Early Humans Copyright 2000 ISBN 0-7614-0960-2, The Making of Mankind, Richard E. Leakey, Elsevier Dutton Publishing Company, Inc. Copyright 1981, ISBN 0-525-15055-2, LC Catalog No. 81-664544. A New Species of Genus Homo from Old Dubai Gorge, L.S.B. Leakey. P.V. Tobias. J.R. Napier, Current Anthropology, Volume 6, No. 4, External Links, Archaeology Info, MNSU, Homo habilis, The Smithsonian Institution's Human Origins Program, BBC, Food for Thought.